Police say a 15-year-old boy was beaten by a group of people at Annapolis High School earlier this year after he refused to join the international criminal gang Mara Salvatrucha 13, more commonly known as MS-13. Two men, Irving Orellana, 18, and Juan Carlos Sandoval Rodriguez, 19, both of Annapolis, were indicted by an Anne Arundel County grand jury on multiple gang-related and assault charges last week. Police spokesman Mark Lemansky said the charges stem from an incident at Annapolis High School March 7 when a 15-year-old was cornered in the men's restroom by a group of students. The student was intimidated by the group, Lemansky said, as they told him he would be beaten up outside the school later in the day if he didn't agree to join MS-13. When he refused, the group kept true to their threat, assaulting him outside the school and punching him several times in his chest, Limansky said. Or Elana, who will be a 9th grader at the high school this year, was with the group inside the school, Limansky said. However, while he has been charged with assault, he could not say if he actually participated in beating the student. Sandoval Rodriguez, who school's spokesman Bob Mosier said was not a student at the school, was on the phone with someone in the group that assaulted the student, Limansky said. While the student told the school principal shortly after the incident, Limansky said he did not give enough information for police to pursue charges. It wasn't until on May 10 that the student ultimately gave police enough identifying information to begin their investigation, Limansky said. It led them to pursue charges against the two adults and the case was referred to the grand jury on June 21. Mosier could not say when the last time a similar incident happened on school grounds in the county. Limansky said the last time someone was charged with a gang-related threat or violence on or within 1,000 feet of school grounds was in January 2016. MS-13 a largely Hispanic gang that originated in the Los Angeles area and operates in 42 states and Washington, D.C., according to the FBI, has seen a number of violent crimes in the D.C. area linked to it this year. In Anne Arundel County, Jose Augustine Salmeron Larios, 24, of Severn, was recently charged with racketeering charges by federal prosecutors for allegedly running operations that coordinated branches of the gang. In a release, the Department of Justice said Salmeron Larios was a leader within MS-13 in Maryland. He and other gang members would orchestrate killings, luring people to locations under the false premise a woman would be meeting them there for sex, the department wrote. The case also includes gang-related charges against five other Maryland residents believed to be MS-13 members. Mosier said that while the school system does its best to provide a safe and supportive learning environment, it cannot completely prevent gang influence within its walls. Do we have people in our schools who are members of gangs? The answer is absolutely yes, he said. The problem that exists with gangs and gang-related activity is there is the influence from outside of the school and, in a lot of cases, from older, former students, he said. In an email, Mosier said the school collaborates with Annapolis and Anne Arundel Police to try to tackle the problem, as well as draw on the resource and collaboration of the Maryland Center of School Safety. We continue to evaluate incidents that violate the code of student conduct on a case-by-case -case basis, and address them accordingly, he said. The Anne Arundel County State's Attorney's Office declined to comment on the case. No attorneys were listed for either Sandoval Rodriguez or Aurelana as of Friday. Attempts to contact both were also unsuccessful.